Morning, I'm Kenneth Andre, Tingle Jitsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Everything that I share and say and do is for a reason. So I'm going to do this early while it's still cool, because I am struggling filming in this heat. <laughs> Hence, I made two word errors in my previous video. I went over the video, it was such a good video, and it's too hot to do another. I like to make sure that all the wording is to the best of my ability because people can hang on to every word you say and hence if there is a mistake I find a mistake I will readdress it so there's just two word errors and it gives me an opportunity to readdress the verse that I share with you for example in Hebrews 11 3 through faith we understand that the world's plural worlds were formed by the word of God so that things which are seen are not made of things which do appear this is where I made the mistake and I think that's because I'm aware of the different translations and sometimes when I rush in it come out wrong so this is a powerful verse I like it because what it's really referring to here everything first comes from consciousness the invisible imagination mind thought where your consciousness goes currency flows where your imagination goes reality flows it's first a thought okay with anything in creation a chair a unit the idea first comes in here and we use all the platonic solids the uh the metals and the minerals everything to our disposal using the material uh, plane with the thought to bring in manifest in to bring into manifestation the thought we first held in the invisible okay now we're doing this on a whole nother level in erecting mansions rooms worlds okay we are expanding our mind and reimagining a world opposite from this one this is what we are actually encouraged to do in scripture Neville Goddard said this is why we were clothed in these mortal bodies and in this in this world with all its restrictions that we would waken up to imagination it's like a school and there's many reasons why we are here we're going through the seven eyes of the lamb and going through a process of transformation etc and we come into knowledge and wisdom where we 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 go to the the thought plane we start using the imagination the seat of the Christ, instead of hanging him on the tree and being adulterous, step it, uh, separated from our Lord, the husband, our creator, we tend to just rely on external agencies and influences, which enslaves us and hangs Christ on the tree. You enter the labours of men by doing that. He says, I sent you to reap, not to labour, but you enter the labours of men. And so... Many of us, as I mentioned in my previous videos, we've been investing in heaven, okay, and turning away from this world. So I just wanted to share that, readdress that with you. Okay, so I had a dream last night I'm going to share with you. I think it's important with the times that we are in. As I mentioned, I've had a couple of challenging days within myself. I know there's works going in, going on in the invisible, in my soul and my heart. And spirit is with me, shouting out all the time with us. And I'm here to glorify our father. Now, in this dream. There seems to be this big meeting of. Demons, all right, which is personified as bats and insects, etc. And I'm in this hall and there's this. Suspicious gentleman, this suspicious gentleman, I'm like, this ain't not right with you. And this bat comes flying at me. Well, I grab the bat. And I, I'll share this with you now. One thing I've learned over the years going through a horrific process is getting rid of your fears. All right. And I start translate, translating, should we say, overcoming a lot of doubts anxieties the processes that i've been in psychologically when i grab certain thoughts and i say no and i cast them down i translate in the physical world if there's like a big spider or anything i grab it by the hands and i throw it out the house okay 
And so if there's anything challenging, I like to tackle it and, and grab it and say, no, no fear. And so this was actually also presented in my dream where I grabbed the bat. <clears throat> I grabbed this bat and I open its wings and I can see this picture of hell in its wings. Well, I literally screwed up the bat like paper and was like, yeah, no, I'm not dealing with that. Well, I'm not, I'm not um, accepting that. <laughs> so I threw this bat away. Then I go down this corridor and I go in this huge hall and it is full of these gentlemen, all right? And they're, they're in this square shaped and they're like having this ritual, this meeting, and there's this music playing. And it's like they all turn to these bats and insects. And I go over to, and I, well, first I go into the room and I remember saying something, but it's spirit. This is not me. This is spirit. I'm a, I'm witnessing an observing spirit. And he's basically like shouting, you're in trouble, right? No more, so to speak. And I go into the corner and there's this box, this music box, and it's playing. And this gentleman's there trying to protect it. Now, no one gets up to face me because remember, I said, no one can harm you. No one will go near you or touch you. As mentioned in the Bible, and I go over to this corner and this gentleman tries to stand up in which it's, that's not going to happen. I don't mean that egotistically, just with knowledge and wisdom. I grab this box and I try to turn it off and this, this gentleman is trying to stop me from doing it. Again, I cast him to one side and I smash it. And so this music cube now smashed. I noticed everyone started disappearing, dispersing, and it just literally disappeared. As I'm leaving the room, this gentleman turns to me and he sort of says, who are you? And I get this language, this word in, the dawn, okay? Like the breaking of the dawn. So that's the dream, keeping it very basic. And to me, it's spirit saying, he's here now. It's the end of the evils. The dawn is breaking. Father is going to do a new thing. So I just wanted to share that with, share that with you, okay? Oh, it's starting to get hot already. Right. So today, we got the moon at three o'clock. Again, there's three o'clock. Hopefully you can see that. In the harvest tool of Pollux in Gemini at three o'clock today all right and we've got and this is another thing i said okay the second thing i the error word i call cancer capricorn i don't know why i keep calling cancer capricorn <laughs> that's like what yeah so we got uh the sun in cancer and cancer with the hive cluster beehive cluster this is tied to heaven right as well as uranus a word, there's a word connected to it which is heavenly heaven so we got the moon in pollux in gemini right on the tool of the harvest uh the harvest tool okay and then i've got this to share with you so keep watch be alert then on the fourth now remember four means door and again, it, this shift, this supernatural transformation can happen at any time now. And I, and I, I know many of us feel it <clears throat> after everything we've observed and gone through. OK, so on the fourth. We've got. Venus. Going into Regulus, moving towards Regulus. Now, Regulus is. I keep it very basic. Because of my research, it will take too long to explain the connections with, with the things that I know in connections with what we are seeing. So Venus moving literally next to Regulus. Regulus is tied with the gods, the 144,000, the angels that are, in, that are in the host body system. And next to it, we have Mercury, which is wisdom connected to both. All right. So there you can see. All right. Venus, love, next to Regulus, which is connected to the 144,000, the gods, the angels in the host body system next to wisdom, 
We're, we are like the five virgins with our vases of wisdom. And that's on the fourth. And we actually have, I can't zoom that in. Yeah, I can. Also, if you look carefully, we have now the new moon right next to the sun, right before Leo, the line of Judah. All right. With now Venus, love in its heart with wisdom. Now I can see why I'm sharing it. Powerful symbolism. Okay. So that's all I have for you for now. Any more comes in today, I will keep you updated. It is so hard and I do apologize for the couple of errors. I always go over these videos to make sure it's, it's to the best of my ability to give great value. It's all there to keep you uplifted and to help with revelation and understanding. I'm Kenneth Andre, Tengjutsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Love you guys. Have a good day. Keep cool if you're in the heat. Whew.